Wars have many victims. People are killed, cities razed to the ground. Sexual violence during war often goes unseen. The effects are devastating and long-lasting. What is sexual violence? It is any unwanted sexual act committed against a person's will, regardless of the relationship to the victim. It can be at home, at work, outside, and at any time of day. Sexual violence involves power and coercion. It causes harm and suffering to another human being. Often this harm can last a person's entire life. Women and girls are generally the primary targets of sexual violence, but men and boys are frequently victimized too. Men, alone or in groups, in the vast majority of instances, are the perpetrators. What about sexual violence in wartime? Most victims of armed conflicts are innocent civilians. Chaos and lawlessness reign in places that were once peaceful. Sexual violence is less likely to be punished. This type of violence has a lasting impact on the victims. Unwanted pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections can compound the suffering of the victims. Victims suffer physical and emotional scars, injuries seen and unseen. They suffer in silence, afraid to be targeted again, experiencing social stigma, mental trauma, and feel shame or guilt. Some cannot go home to their families. There is often a military and political dimension to sexual violence. It can be used systematically to terrorize populations destroy families, and devastate entire communities. How is the crime of sexual violence anchored in international law? In the not-too-distant past, sexual violence was mostly viewed as a natural result of turbulence, or even seen as the spoils of war. The war in Bosnia and Herzegovina in the 1990s resulted in an acute awareness of this issue for the first time on a global scale. In 1992, the UN Security Council declared that the massive, organized, and systematic detention and rape of women should be considered an international crime. Rape was officially added to the statute as a crime against humanity in 1992. In 1998, the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda became the first international court to find that rape can even be an act of genocide. In 2001, the International Tribunal for the Former Yugoslavia ICTY, became the first international court to ever find a person guilty of rape as a crime against humanity. The Permanent International Criminal Court defines all grave forms of sexual violence as a crime against humanity and a war crime, an important milestone in international law. These laws send a clear message to future perpetrators of sexual violence. Commit these crimes and face the full force of the law.